Question six then from paper two of the 2021 Higher Maths Resource paper. Area under a curve. Well, there's two parts to it. The second part's area under a curve here. What's the area here between that dotted line and the end where A is the stationary point? And part A is find the coordinates of that stationary point because you'll need that because that's where you're going to start working out this area. Well, another thing to notice is, look, it's got power 3.2. That's the index. There's a square root in there. So there's no part of the graph here because you can't put a negative into that formula. That's why it starts at the origin and then goes on. Anyway, the first part. So what was that function again? 6x minus 2x to the 3 upon 2. So differentiate it. We're looking for the stationary point. So that'll just be a 6. Multiply by the power, the 2's will cancel. So that'll be 3 times. Take 1 off the power, so it drops to a half. So that would be the first mark. And there it just says the first mark's for differentiating one of them. And then the second mark's for finishing it off and equating it to zero. But you'd have thought that would have been the first mark, differentiate it. And then separately, the second mark is for realising that the stationary point means that the derivative should equal zero. So you'd have to equate this however way you want to write it to zero. I think I'll write that as root x equals zero when it comes to using it in an equation. So however you want to interpret it, arriving at that line, so you can just leave that as x to the half, arriving at that line gets two marks, now you just got to solve that. Well that means 3 root x is 6, that means root x is take the 3 across and divide 2, so squaring it, 2 squared is 4. Part B, calculate the shaded area, which I've not shaded. It's this part here, the part after that dotted line under the curve above the x-axis. Four marks. Well, that area is going to be, no, that was at four, so I'm starting at four and finishing at nine. So it's from four to nine of this part here, that's the y-coordinate, 6x minus 2x to the 3 upon 2 dx. Now, doing that gets a mark. Now, Start integrating this, so it's add 1 to the power, so it goes up to 2, divide by the power, that's a 3. This one, add 1 to the power, that goes up to 5 upon 2. I think I'm just going to go straight in with this, rather than leaving another line and use up space. It's really divide by 5 upon 2. Better than that, it's multiplied by 2 upon 5. And since there's a 2 there already, that'll be 4 upon 5 to get evaluated from 4 to 9. Now the nasty bit starts. Well, you're just going to use your calculator, aren't you? So that'd be worth a mark. Now, the next mark's for putting in the figures, which is nothing. And the last mark is for the answer. That's the big pile of arithmetic, but you're just using your calculator. So it'll be 3 times, work it out at 9. 3 times 9 squared minus four-fifths of nine to the power of five upon two, minus, now put in four, three times four squared, minus four upon five times four to the power, five upon two. I'm going to put a square there. That gets a mark. Now the next mark's just for the answer. So you can just press the buttons. What would it be anyway? Well, nine squared, that's 81. And three times 81 is 243. Now that's also the same thing, look because square root makes that all into threes, if you like. So that three can pop out, that leaves four of them, so that's a nine. So those are, that's, all, that's also two, four, three. Minus two fifths, four fifths of two, four, three. I shouldn't really be doing this, I should just be pressing the buttons. So I've got that for one answer. Then I'm going to take away three sixteens are 48. And that's two to the power five, that's a 32. So minus a uh, four fifths of 32. So I could do the whole number, but let's take away that, take away a 59 on 2, how about that then, 193, 195 for the whole number bit, and they've got a common 4 fifths, so it'll be 4 fifths of the difference between those ones there, so that's going to be 211. Press the buttons now, I suppose, or I could do just a wee bit more. No, 811, 844, 844, divide that by 5, give me 1, 3, 6, 8, and... Four-fifths. So taking that away from that, or just take away 
Take away 170 and put back one of one fifth. Take away 170, 25, 26 and one fifth units squared. That'd be the last mark. Well, you could write it as a decimal, 26.2, or as an improper fraction, which would be 131. However you like. But you wouldn't do that, we just press the buttons.